Hey everybody, it's Safety Security Alert here today, and I'm going to be doing a home fire and burglar security system test. Alright, let's get started with the test. Um, we have a few new things, and I'm gonna, as the system test goes on, I'm gonna show you. For fire, we have a pole station here, Silent Night PSDATK. This is a wired pole station, but I have a wireless um, contact in there, so I didn't have to wire it to the panel. And you can obviously see I could have just easily wired it to the panel, but there are um, limited wired zones um, but there's open zones there but they're used for wireless devices so I can I can I don't really want to do it so um, we have the same stuff same two wire detector there and for security obviously never gonna change the contacts motion detectors the wireless sirens upstairs for the system um, but we have something new I'm gonna get my smoke tester Right here, I'm gonna use the CRC stuff, which is almost out. And we have something new right here, right here. So we have a system sensor 2412TH four wire smoke detector right here, and it's wired to the panel on zone eight. And then for fire, we have the EST Genesis, oh, well, different one. There's not one over there anymore. But there's an EST Genesis horn strobe here. And later, I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do with the alarms. But here we go. Let's test this out. I'll walk around and show you the system going off. There's no smoke detector here anymore, by the way. There's only that one. There's an EST Genesis remote strobe right here. This is going to be a bathroom. So we might want to have one in here. We might keep it, we may not. Say off the wired stuff. Also sets off the wireless DSC. Smoke alarms. Just the sounders in them. So that's what we get. That's how we get notified up here that there's a fire. And let's turn it off from this keypad here. There's some smoke. So these are, like I said, battery operated and wireless. And even when a wired device or even a pull station, a fire alarm pull station gets activated, this beep. So it's still an alarm, so we're gonna reset that device and I'll show you how to do that wired. By the way, we still have a heat detector there. That's not gonna What I do, as you can see, even though we shut off the alarms, it's still an alarm. But what you gotta do with wired devices is first air it out a little bit, blow at it a little bit, air it out. Make sure there's no smoke around it. And then to, to um, because it's still an alarm, as you can even see, it's still showing on here. It's not reset. You either press star 72 or the reset button. We'll do star 72. That, that's resetting it. See? Now, that, now it's off. If it goes off again, it means you didn't clear it enough. And same goes for the two-wire smoke detector in here. We also have another new device. We have the same carbon monoxide detector there that's wireless. And we have a system sensor 2100 four wire smoke detector. So that's four wire, this is four wire, and then the one in the closet is two wire, and everything upstairs is wireless. So, let's spray some smoke in this one. And as you can see, there's two wires, because it's a four wire detector, and they run back to the panel. So here we go. Let's spray smoke at it. And this is on zone seven. That's separate. That's battery operated. That's the alarm. Answer the code. And that's off the alarm. And as you can see, like I said, it's still showing laundry area smoke. See, so this is the laundry area temporarily. So, it's still an alarm. It's the same deal. You want to take something, blow the smoke out of it. Make sure there's no smoke in it. And then when you make sure the smoke is clear, reset the device. 
And some keypads like our wireless ones upstairs say reset. This one has an icon. So I'll push and hold it. You can kind of see it there. So, sorry about that noise. Oh my goodness. All right, so we are upstairs and that's the carbon dioxide detector right there. And that's the smoke detector. They're both wireless. And we're gonna test out the smoke detector. These take a lot more smoke. These are more ionization. They're better as ionization than photoelectric, so. Matches work better. There he goes. So trip the panel, you can hear everything going downstairs. This beeps too. Oh, it's not beeping yet, there it goes. Things being wireless make it take longer. Okay, let's go. Turn it off with the upstairs front door key. Oh, we're at our front door keypad. And do four digit code. And the alarm stopped. See upstairs hall smoke and heat detector, because it's also a heat detector. And it might sound again. And for that, for the wireless detectors, you do not have to um, press the reset button. Just blow it out, because if not, it'll go off again. All right, everybody, we are going to test out the system sensor rate of rise heat detector above the stairs. And don't call me stupid, I can see, I know you can tell about those marks right there. That is from doing what I'm about to do. Um, I'm going to test it out with a lighter and I accidentally, like, like, you know, you, you can figure out what I did. Um, that's okay. So I'm going to get on up there and test it out. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh gosh, no. I permanently activated the freaking detector. Oh dude, I can't believe I just did that. All right, let's go show off the alarm. Here's the pieces. Oh. All right, I'm gonna use my snag to shut it off. My goodness. I can't believe that, dude. It's still an alarm. Oh, okay. Well, I've done that many times and that did not happen. All right, well, I gotta replace it now. Darn it. Permanently, it's permanently activated. I've done that about a hundred times, and I guess it was just I've done it too many times that it permanently activated. And I'm sorry, I, I might have cursed. All right. Anyways, I'll be right back with you guys to finish. Up. Even fixed slash rate of rise heat detectors, you still gotta be careful with them. Uh, they can act. They can still permanently activate after a few times, and I might have put the lighter a little bit too close. So I don't want people to. Start coming out to me and be like, Luca, you weren't being careful. You you put it too close. So don't start doing that, okay? I, I've had heat detectors long enough. Anyways, we're going to order a new one, and I'm going to replace that. So, for now, I'm going to go into the system and disable it. So it doesn't go off again. And then I'm going to test a few more devices out for the test today. So the way you see it, it still shows. But if I reset the code, it'll go off again. So I'm going to go into star one, scroll through our devices... Upstairs heat detector says open. I mean, it's like activated. It's an alarm. So if you press star, that's bypassed. And you, you can't do this with fire devices unless you program it specifically to do that. All right. So now it is disabled. So it can't, it can't go off again. All right. Let's test out a couple more devices. Here we go. Silent night pulse, fire alarm pulse station. That stairs detector's gone. You can hear him. And do I have the prox tag? I do. Check this out. I programmed it for this. So you can program a prox tag on the keypads that have that. Only this one does. All right, let's reset the pole station. And you don't have to reset the panel after that. 
reset the system. That's all. That's all you have to do. And let's also go and test out one more device for the fire system, and we'll do one security test today. Let's turn it away. I'm not gonna open the door. I'm not gonna touch that heat detector. You can tell why. Um, I mean, it's already fixed, but I still just don't want to touch it. Alright, and I already reset that. I just opened it and closed it. Anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching the uh, fail today. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed that video. Have a great day, and hopefully um, you'll get more videos from me soon. Have a good one.